I am Mike Stanton. It's June 19th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Uh, Dan, let's start with you and talk about uh, trends in the market this week. Uh, yields were pretty stable across the market. What were the uh, underlying drivers of that? Yeah, I think you know. I think we've uh, seen uh, some stability returning to the markets um, with the Treasury ten-year Treasury uh, back to that seventy-two basis points and sort of maintaining a pretty tight range. Um, and in turn, the municipal market, we've seen um, uh, also some decent stability in here as uh, one-year levels at 0.25, 10-year MMD at 0.88, and 30-year at 163. So above 100% ratios in all three categories across the curve, um, but some uh, definite st uh, stability as far as uh, the interest rate cycle here. And you continue to see uh, strong underlying demand. How are uh, cash flows this week? So uh, flows uh, came in at 1.7 billion, continuing the recent streak that we've seen um, as investors continue to um, uh, get pushed out of other asset classes and are looking for some fixed income, uh, anything they can get some decent yields uh, in the market. And that trend is benefiting both taxable municipals and really all, kind of all taxable markets. Um, what did we see? Uh, the Fed, I know, made an announcement out there, support for the corporate bond market. Uh, what, what kind of what's happening there? Yeah, the Fed continues uh, dramatic support for the, uh, various markets, including the corporate bond market. And this week, they announced plans to uh, th where they had gotten authority to purchase corporate bonds. They actually came out and announced that they were going to going to buy uh, corporate bonds. So dramatic support for the corporate bond market. The municipal side has been faring, as I say, pretty uh, pretty well, and we've seen a pretty stable environment. Um, but the Fed support of the municipal market through the MLF, um, Illinois has been the only one to have borrowed through that facility for $1.2 billion. And while other municipalities, I think, are planning um, to, to borrow from that, it remains to be a very limited audience. And so, Grant, let's transition to you and talk about the new issue market. Um, New issue volume remained strong this week. Uh, the stable yields uh, were, were flat, even though there were a lot of new issues pricing. Uh, what kind of dyna dynamics have you seen there? Yeah, I mean, there's just still a lot of optimism uh, relating to uh, federal aid um, uh, and state and lo local governments. So, you know, the really, I would say for June, there's been a lot of uh, focus, been a very strong market uh, for new issuance. We, we uh, continue to see um, Penetration rates in the 10% range, as we've seen throughout June, which is quite a bit above um, kind of the average run rate that we uh, that we saw last year, of around six and a half, seven percent. And um, you know, uh, in terms of BAM specifically, we had another good week there. We uh, priced um, 28. We were on 28 new issue deals uh, for a total of 315 million, and uh, I would say highlighted by the 100 million. Uh, Hot Springs, Arkansas water deal, which uh, also qualified for the BAM Green Star. And we have a BAM Credit Insights video about that if people uh, want to watch it. Uh, looking ahead to next week, uh, what does the calendar look like? So uh, next week is led, you know, the, uh, there's a little less supply. I mean, just on the 30-day visible has fallen from about 13 billion that we were seeing earlier in the month down to 8 billion. Uh, so uh, despite the, um, the lower supply week next week, uh, we're on uh, 360 million of new deals, and that's led by uh, the 120 million dollar Birmingham Airport deal, which uh, has been that Piper is doing. Uh, that has been kind of on the day-to-day -day, uh, status, and um, that will be pricing next week um, with BAM Insurance, as we understand. I mean, to give you a sense of the market, there actually was a 360 million dollar deal uh, for uh, secured by um, uh, American Airlines price this week. So. Um, the market is wide open. Um, you know, the, the airport deals are coming, which we obviously consider to be a much stronger credit than the special facility bonds uh, backed by a single airline. But, um, uh, but overall, continues to be a very strong market. Uh, inflows, uh, as you mentioned, uh, were, were again high. And, you know, we just think that in terms of disclosure, you know, we're going to start seeing um, uh, disclosure with new revenue numbers, things like that. So we're not sure we're out of the woods, but uh, but the market is certainly buoyant.
And for more information about that Birmingham Airport transaction, we do have a Credit Insights video on that one as well. Uh, obviously, a, a stress time in, for a lot of airport uh, revenue streams, but in Birmingham, they have a very uh, healthy cash balance and cash reserve that will uh, right. put them in a pretty uh, good cushion uh, going into this period. So uh, you can learn more about our, that in our BAM Credit Insights video. I know next week's uh, trends, if Transactions are also really widely uh, geographically diverse. Uh, we've got uh, transactions. Uh, there's a deal from uh, South Dakota coming, a couple of transactions from West Virginia. So uh, the whole country is really getting involved in this market right now. Right. Yeah, those are states that we don't see much issuance from. Great. Well, thanks, gentlemen, for uh, joining me today. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Mike. Great. Thanks, Mike. is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM insured municipal bonds.